It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. I am Miranda, man. Back in effect. And it's always a privilege and a pleasure when I get to chop it up with people who's just out here going crazy. And DC has decided to check in today. My guy Fat Trail is in the building. What's happening? DC in the building. What's up, bro? How you doing? Man, I'm good. I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. How you, man? I'm the same, man. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Nah, nah, man. Anytime, anytime, man. Now, we know new music's out. Absolutely. You out here grinding, doing your thing. But before we get into the new music, you know what I'm saying? We like to do a welfare check. Um, I feel like with this new music... I think it's safe to say that you in like a new space. Yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mentally so. and um, maturity wise, yeah, I feel like I'm in a new space. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I think uh, of reflecting the music for sure. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. So respectfully, man, you've been at this for damn near a decade. Yeah. Well, probably like a decade plus at this point. Yeah, a decade plus. Yeah. A decade is 10 years, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A decade plus. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, you know, it's 2024. How does Fat Trail feel about his growth? from 10 years ago up until now? Um, I love it. It could always be better. It's, it's, it's room for improvement. Mm -hmm. I feel like no matter how good you're doing or how much money you make or how much success you gain, I feel like there's always room to grow. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like it could get better. There's a few things I need to work on. But, um, but for the most part, I love where it's at. Yeah. And, um, I love where my work ethic is and um, you know the mentality to work and go hard, period, and still have a love for hip hop period I love where it's at absolutely man that's good you know you speak on your love for hip hop yeah. right so you know you are definitely an artist but you love the craft itself absolutely yeah why is hip hop the craft like so valuable to you like why do you love it so much um why do I love it so much that's a great question you know I came up under that era where we was watching a lot of battle rappers you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. um, the Cassidy versus Freeway was one of the first <laughs> Classic battle rappers to open my eyes to the actual artistry. Mm -hmm. You feel me to um to rap in person before I I've been on songwriting. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And song creating albums and stuff like that. But when 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 that Cassidy and Freeway battle went viral and people were selling DVDs, it opened my mind up to a whole new way of rapping. You know what I'm saying? And right. so um, the love for it is, is is still super strong. You feel me? And I, I feel like that's what motivates me to um keep getting in the studio and trying to perfect my craft as much as possible. Absolutely. Now, that's good because, you know, we now live in this era when we get on the internet, we see these these conversations with a lot of the older hip-hop heads who, it's like they talk about some of these younger artists. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, y'all do music, but some of them, no shade, it's like they're not artists for real. Like, y'all don't really love hip-hop. Oh, some, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. Not um, all of them, but some I've of seen, them. I've seen people express that opinion, and, um, I mean, it's a fair opinion. Uh, you see that in some people, not all, like, mm -hmm. like but... Um, whether you choose to speak on it and, you know, speak on that, that's different, you feel me? But right. um, I feel like that's in every sport, in every league, you know what I'm saying? You got the the guys who take care of their body like LeBron James in the NBA, and then you got the dudes who, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. smoke weed, party, pop pills, fuck hoes, and hoop. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> For real. like nah, I ain't, summertime, I'm off. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that's how I work, man. That's life, you know what I'm saying? And, um. Mm -hmm. It's about whether you appreciate it more or if that's the lane you want to run in. And, you know, whichever is fine if you ask me. But, you know, I'm going to stay on my side. I'm going to stay on what I focus on. And I, I love hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, I love money, too. But, that part? Yeah, of course. But I love hip-hop, man. I love rap still. Mm -hmm. That's what it is, man. One thing I definitely want to highlight um, before we get into the album is... You just having the knack for just being consistent. And the reason why I say that is for everybody, for everybody listening, for everybody watching, Fat Trail had a, a video yesterday, y'all. Yeah. And according to, shout out to Tavia, yeah. uh, according to everybody else, tired everybody else, it didn't end till four, four in the morning. morning man. He's still here for his interview, y'all. in the morning, man. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, man. man. So talk yeah. to us about just the importance of just staying on it no matter what. Because, I mean, four in the morning shooting a video, you could have easily said, man, forget that interview, man. I'm about to sleep. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm no, nah, I mean, look, I, I was telling somebody this morning, um, they was asking me, are you tired? And I was like, uh, a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But this job is like, this ain't your average job, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, this is, is built around music, it's built around hip hop, you feel me? So um, why not push up and ask some questions and, and, and have a, a good creative conversation about the culture, your music, what you're working on, your, yeah. and your work ethic, you feel me? Why not um, stay up all night and shoot videos? You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. that's fun to me. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like, getting in front of the camera, um, creating new looks and just working with the director and, you know, honing in on your craft. Like, it's no time limit to music. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. we could do interviews from 
12 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then we could record from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. And that's just what come with the work. You feel what I'm saying? And yeah. um, when, when, you, when you have that mentality, it's, it's, it's going to work for you every time, in my opinion. Yeah, no, nah, that's what it is, man. Yeah. Because, you know, to be in this space where, you know, you've been here 10 plus you had to create the routine, right? Absolutely. Like, was it tough for you at the beginning? Was it tough to... Um, absolutely, man. You know, I'm coming <laughs> from the streets and just doing yeah. a bunch of unnecessary things to speak on, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, so it was definitely different, man. You know what I'm saying? Going to all these radio stations, um, going to these lobbies, uh, handing your ID over, taking pictures at the desk. Right. All that stuff was new to me, you <laughs> yeah, know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. um, you just did that, literally. I, like... Absolutely, yeah, 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 absolutely. So all that stuff was new to me, so mm-hmm. um, that part was, it, it, but like I said again, it's fun. Yeah. So to, to, to actually create the schedule and say, yo, you got this at this time, you got this at this time, we're going to break to eat or whatever right here at this time. Um, this this company wants you to come try on some clothes. Mm-hmm. This company wants you to uh, support their brand and give them a drop. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. that's dope to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? Because they feel as though my image and my voice can help them out. And that's that's big to me being as though where I come from and the, where I began, mm-hmm. where, I, where I begun this journey at. You feel me? So yeah. that's big for me. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. You think it's, it's funny that, you know, we all work so hard to hustle, spend money. Then once we start popping, everybody wants to give you free stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody wants to give you free yeah, stuff. So crazy, you start popping, man. everybody so, wants to give you free stuff. Nah, but I love it, man. Like, like that's that's what comes with the game too. And um, it's still a lot of things to spend money on. So that yeah, part, yeah, yeah, part. Yeah, Rose Royce ain't giving away nothing for free. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's maybe true. water. Maybe that's it. Maybe yeah. maybe water come in once you pay for it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what it is, man. So you know, before we get into the album. I want to ask you, because you are from D.C. Absolutely. And D.C. is a very unique, culturally relevant place. Mm-hmm. So when it comes to hip-hop, I'm just curious. Who do you think, outside of yourself, who do you think is the GOAT of D.C. when it comes to music? Who do you, who would you who would you consider to be the GOAT coming um, out of D.C.? Besides yourself. Coming out of D.C.? Mm-hmm. Washington D.C. Besides myself, or you know, DM, the D.C. D.M.V. area, because you know y'all, DMV area, y'all, right? y'all okay, click yeah, up. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to go with Wale, man. You Wale, know what I'm saying? he got the most hit records, the most um, number one albums and stuff like that from the city. So, you know, um, just his 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 work ethic. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. His penmanship, crazy. You know what I'm saying? He will never allow anybody to write a record for him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And he'll perfect his verse for two weeks if he have to. Mm. I mean, I seen him work on verses for weeks. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 kept changing it. Mm. When I say work on it, like, keep changing certain lines, certain bars, mm. certain cadences, two weeks at a time. You know what I'm saying? So, right. like, just everything he accomplished, man. Like I said, the records, um, the tours. I think he actually on tour right now, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Um, I'm going to have to give it to Ralph, my boy Wale, man. Yeah. yeah. Outside of that crew record that happened with Shy and uh, Brent. And, oh, uh, yeah. Outside, do you think there will ever be, like, another, like, big DMV, DC, like, record with, like, all y'all? Like, Absolutely. Wale. Absolutely. We just got to get it done. Um, we just got to get it all, all get adjusted to each other's schedule and get in the same room, bro. Mm-hmm. But um, I definitely believe that. And I'm actually working on, um, you know, when I was incarcerated, I dropped a tape called Big Homie, mm-hmm. and that was basically just me and all the artists from the DMV that I worked with that had that was unreleased. Yeah. I put it on a tape and, and put it out called Big Homie. So I'm actually in the process of, of creating Big Homie too, mm-hmm. which I'm gonna just go around. Despite who having issues with each other, I'm gonna try not to, you know, let everybody know. Look, I ain't, I ain't on that. I'm trying. To, I'm looking at a bigger picture type thing, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna go do. Uh, I'm gonna go do features with everybody from the city, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. Yeah. And I'm gonna put out a big homie too. So I'm in the process of that, and I know we could get a couple great records coming out of that tape. Mm-hmm. So absolutely, because yeah. you know the world definitely needs, you know, like all this beef and all that. Like, you know, yeah, that, man, it's too. I think we should. Um, I think we should look at what's going on with. Um, Everybody to you know everybody, man. What 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 happened to Vaughn? What happened to Dolph? And mm-hmm. you know you gotta watch Thug Trial and um, you know uh, the dude um, Julio out Florida. Julio, Julio, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, we gotta look at this and man, like we gotta focus on the paper, man, because it's a lot of paper. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And um, I think we should we we can all collectively look at these situations, these these trials and everything that which is public, and we can learn from this that uh, the future. 
it's it's it's, it's gonna look real harsh if we take that path. I think we can all learn from that together. Yeah. Yeah. That part, that part. And I gotta salute Dirk for getting his record wiped clean and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like uh getting on his dean real hard. Mm -hmm. When you know that when you when you take a loss like Vaughn, yeah. you know what I'm saying, it changes you. Yeah, it really do. It changes your mind state and make you look at your kids different and make you converse with your kids different. Yeah. And I feel as though uh we need more of that going on. Absolutely, man. Yeah. It's good that you know you you willing to take that step. Absolutely. You know, it's it could be a lot of things that get in the way, but at the end of the day, like you said, it's too much paper. It's too yeah. much opportunity. Too much paper, man. And they giving out too much time, man. So Yep. Football you know numbers I mean? is real, yeah, man. Yeah, football numbers is real for sure. Absolutely, man. Well, that brings us to your new project, new album. Boosters Keeper, man. Absolutely, man. Talk to us about it. You out here going crazy with the streams. You hit over a million in less than a month. In less than a month, yeah. Less than man. a month. Which was huge for me, mm. in my opinion. Um, just you know, when you when you look at my situation. But um, Booster Keeper was a playoff word for my brother's keeper. You know, one of the um, movies we used to watch over and over, mm. smoking or when we had girls over, we always invite girls over and cut on New Jack City and pay them full mm, and just smoke yeah. and drink and shit. And, um, you know, I lost them while I was incarcerated. Wow. Um, yeah. And so, you know, I was having mi mixed feelings about music. Yeah. While I was still incarcerated, I kind of sort of secretly promised myself that I wouldn't even rap no more because yeah. I didn't feel as though it would be fun being as though my best friend is gone. Came home, got to work, went to the studio, and, and you know, felt more motivated, and I said I got to keep my brother's name alive. Mm -hmm. and, um, actually, the first album I was supposed to drop after my release was supposed to be Booster's Keeper, mm -hmm. but we wound up putting out Nightmare on E Street 2 yeah. out um, for some other reasons. And so, you know, Booster's Keeper is just dedicated to him. Mm. And um, my mind state, um, my goals, uh, my, 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 my trauma, my past, you yeah. know what I'm saying, um, my current situation and everything. So yeah. it's one of my favorite albums right Absolutely, now. Absolutely, man, because like just listening to it, I could tell that um, you really, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I could tell you really took your time with it. Like, it, it don't feel like you just went in and was just saying stuff. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, know, no. No absolutely. plenty is and all, you know absolutely what I mean? Absolutely not, man. Um, just, you know... I'm looking at myself and I'm looking back on my career and um, all the music I made and how I started out in the drill scene and all that. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, what is a, a, a real nigga like myself speak on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right now, mm -hmm. with my current situation and everything I'm going through. Like I said, past, present, future, trauma, business decision. Yeah. Um, you know, what's going on in the world. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I was locked up when George Floyd situation happened all across America. I was locked up when COVID hit. So, my my viewpoint and what I got to speak on is different. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. that was real huge for me, for sure. Absolutely, man. Because um, you know, you you say that um, you know, you you talk about what you was going through. But one thing that I really do think is cool about the project really is some of the features that you have. Like, Absolutely. You, know, you got Skiller Baby on there. Absolutely. And a couple of the upper, I'm um, up and coming artists. Yeah. So for somebody like yourself, you've been here ten years plus. What's it like for you working with artists who are on a come up? You know, um, I love them. it, man. Because you know what, I'm gonna be honest. I'm at I'm at a point in my life. I'm at an age where you meet the Skiller babies and the, and the Sada babies, and they're yep. like, "Yo, man, I used to bump you and Chief Keith mm. like faithfully." You know <laughs> right. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and I feel as though that's dope because there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, um, we all young African American men from the trenches, man, trying to chase a bigger bag. You know what I'm saying? Trying Thanks. to take care of our family at the end of the day. So when you could make music with your peers that's in your generation, and then you got the younger guys who coming up like, damn, oh man, I used to bump you all the time. Like, let's get to work. Mm -hmm. Man, Skiller got damn near an EP in. Yeah, yeah, we need that. Yeah, 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 like, where y'all gonna drop that? You know what I'm saying, man, we, we, <laughs> it's, 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 we in talks. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's real big for me, man. And um, when they when they show me my that love and give me my flowers, I appreciate that too because he from the trenches in Detroit mm -hmm. or Rob Four Nine from the trenches in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. So when dudes like that, Trippy Red from Ohio, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? When them dudes like that give me my flowers, it's like damn, niggas in the trenches been rocking with me all across America, Absolutely. and that's big for me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that was my, always my goal. I wanted to speak to the trenches all across America about Washington D.C. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And who knows? What your music did for them when they was going through whatever, you know exactly, what I'm saying? It was man. probably you know, they was, I was making some wild music in the beginning, so <laughs> yeah. and I still do, I believe so hey. too. So who knows, man? But they here, man. Shout out to everybody. JIDK was on the album. Mm. Um, yeah, that that was IDK. That was that was a surprise. Yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. You that's know. my dog, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? IDK. ESTG mm -hmm. on the album, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to him and the whole Shine crew. So nah, that was real big for me. Absolutely, man. 
And one thing I definitely do want to touch on is, you know, your business sense with your music, with your art. Because, mm-hmm. you know, most people may not know, but you are independent, but you're distributed through mm-hmm. 1RPM. Absolutely. So that means that you get a bigger bag, a bigger cut of your work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Most of the stuff that's coming in is coming to you first. Yeah. So, um, I'm still a, I'm still a student to yeah. the business, period. You know what I'm saying? Like I was saying earlier, I feel as though there's always room to grow. And even mentally, uh, when it comes to wisdom and financial liter- literary, you know the word. I'm Literacy. Saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not good. When, it's when, not it, good. when it comes down to that, it's always room to grow. As a lawyer. Um, it's still questions in contracts. I still got to ask my manager. I still got to ask the lawyer, what this word mean? Mm. What that mean when they say that? So how long was it going to take for them to give me this? You mm. know what I'm saying? Like, I still ask questions. You know what I'm saying? So, But as far as my business mind, I wasn't always like that in the beginning. You feel mm-hmm. me? I always look at the contracts and make sure the amount that we agreed on yeah. is right. Stand on and that. looking for the date of when I'm going to get my money. Mm. And I didn't read the rest, you know what I'm saying? And I, I made a couple poor choices in the past mm-hmm. by doing that. So, you know, I think it's the, the the mental is better now. Yeah, hey, we all live and we learn. Yeah, man. yeah, I mean, it was learning lessons, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. you got to make, in life, you're going to make bad decisions. And when you what you learn from those bad decisions and how you not make them again, that's what it's about, you feel mm-hmm. me? Yeah. Absolutely, man, for sure, man. So what's next for you, man? You know, shoot, um, hey, 2024 about to be done. Yeah, you out here going my crazy? riding around right now in the rain. This weather is crazy. Mm-hmm. But we listening to records now, um, trying to uh, figure out a good release date and a good six, seven, eight more records to put on the Deluxe. Oh, yeah, Deluxe um, coming? Like I said, I'm in the process of working on um, Big Homie 2 as well. Yep. I'm also, I also just finished my first uh, film that's coming out on Tubi. It's called Beauty and the Struggle. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I gotta go to Vegas to meet with some more producers and directors because I'm about to do my second film. So um, it's a lot in the works, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to start getting into the uh, the football in DC, the youth football. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A little yeah. start a little sprinkling, a little coaching, a little sponsoring. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So it's a lot of big things in here for me. Absolutely, man. Yeah, we ain't done. You know, we just crossing over there in the different paths, man. You know what I'm saying? From music to film. Sports, right. you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we can get into some NIL situations with college students and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's the new big bag. Yeah, we about man. to hustle until we, we about like, to sign these college kids. Yeah, and, you we know. about to hustle until we like 75, 80 years old for sure. <laughs> absolutely, we pay. <laughs> yeah. hey, there's money to be made. Man, we come get on, it. man. We gotta sure. go. We gotta go get that money, man. I'm watching Coach Prime mm-hmm. and, and, and Shador <laughs> and Travis Hunter. And I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm extremely motivated. Yep. I'm extremely motivated. They're giving us the game. Yeah. Hey, how, you, how you feel about how they try to attack? The Shador Sanders. I family. love it. You, you I love, love it. it. <laughs> Throw it up every time. Throw the air time. Every in their face. Every and time. after the game, try to shake my hand. No. Nah. <laughs> nah. Keep talking that shit on Instagram. Absolutely. Get out of my face, man. Oh, that yeah. is. And he told him, You can't fuck with me. You can't. And he proved it. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> all that, keep talking about my father and all that. Like, like listen, man, we got to stop trying to sneaky sneak this. What happened, like, you can't erase what Deion Sanders did in his past. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He mm-hmm. caught the interceptions. He ran his, the, the, the returns back. He scored the touchdowns. He made the money. He did it beautifully. Yep. He put the money in your face every time. That's black excellence. So you got to accept that. Everything that they kids want to do, first of all, every kid wants to be like their father. And their father just so happened to be one of the flashiest athletes ever mm-hmm. in that era. Right. So what they going to do? The they got to do it on a whole another bigger scale. Bigger scale. It's only right. So sit back and, <clears throat> like, for the opposing team, right, <laughs> if you're going to go over game film and you're going to talk about strategy, yeah. that's fine during media. But when you say, uh, let's see where Instagram followers get you. Mm-hmm. Deion Sanders don't got to play. Right. They got to – now you're going in a – Personal Make stuff. It personal, Let's talk right. about the X's and O's. Mm-hmm. Man, we got to stop Shador from getting out the pocket. Yep. We got a double team, triple team, Travis Hunter. Let's talk about that because that's when good. you talk about the family now, you just sneaky hating, dog. Yep. And that's all but it knowing is. Knowing your dad probably a quadrillionaire, right? Or you make her money. Who knows? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, so that's how I feel about that. Shout out to um, Prime man. Shout out to Shador. I was just bumping that Shador this morning. Yeah, yeah. That's what they can you know. Dion, he rap too. So shit. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Must be the one. 
Buzz B. <laughs> Shout out to Coach Prime, man. Shout out to Coach Prime. Black excellence, man. I love it. Absolutely. And that's what we on right now, man. Well, congratulations to you, my Thank brother. You, man. Thank Appreciate you for pulling it, up. Appreciate you for having me anytime, bro. Absolutely, man. I'm going to hold you to that, too, now. Say no more. I got you. Let yeah, me know. Call me. For sure, man. You for always sure. in the A. Call me, bro. Hey, dude. Hey, yeah. I got your number, so shoot. We Let's now. I'm with it. I'm with it, bro. <laughs> oh, give our listeners your social media one more time. Let me know how to get in contact um, my, with you. My Instagram is at fat underscore gleesh underscore. That's at F A T underscore G L. E E S H and my Twitter or X is at Fat Trail. That's at F A T T R E L. Boosters keep the album out everywhere, out hey. now on all platforms, man. Title, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, whatever you choose to go play it, man. Run it up, Boosters keep it, man. Lonely, my dog. Free the man. Real Ma, a hey, Fat Trail in the building. It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. I am Miranda, man. We out, man.